In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the oscilloscope and receiver from the device simulation container with MACE to measure scan period, PRI, and pulse width. So the first thing I do is I run a mission over here and I'm going to select a signal in the uh, receiver and I believe there's a flat face E right over here. Select the fat, flat face E and we now see that we have a signal. And well, what we're looking at here is the standard oscilloscope, so it's very similar to real oscilloscopes. Um, each one of these cells is one second long, so the divisions are one, two, and there's ten of them, so the whole thing is, uh, has a sweep of ten seconds. Now, we can try and measure these, the distance between the peaks just by um, getting an approximation of where they are in the, uh, in the divisions. But there's a better way. You can simply hit the trigger, and next time it comes around, it will actually start on the pulse exactly, or on the first pulse that comes above a uh, above threshold level. Okay, so now we know we're starting at zero, and we can just count the divisions. And here's five, here's six, and notice the peak is a little bit off, and the peak's a little bit off here, so they're about just about six seconds apart. Um, which means then that the scan is six seconds long and we can check that by looking at the flat face parameters to see that yes it's set to be six seconds long. Okay, uh, we can also go down and check the PRI. So again if I come down here to one millisecond now each division is one millisecond long meaning uh, that it's uh, 10 milliseconds long or 10,000 microseconds long. And again if I use the trigger then nothing will happen until a signal comes in. And we can again determine the uh, PRI in this case from uh, just looking at the uh, division. So here's one and two, looks about like 1.8 approximately, which would be 1,800 microseconds. And if we check that in our data, we can see that the PRI is indeed uh, 1851, pretty close to 1,800, um, relatively speaking. Now we can also go down and check the individual pulse uh, width. So now I've changed it down to one microsecond, and we can see that the pulse is actually about one, I'm going to say 1.4 or 1.5. There it is, 1.5. So, this shows how we can use the oscilloscope and the receiver device along with MACE to measure scan, PRI, and pulse width. 